Yeah, you can see a town way out there. That's what a town in West Virginia. The river's in between me and that town way out there. And these are the hills of West Virginia way out there. And I'm standing in Ohio. I'm heading down into a dump. I'll get back when I get down there. In here, this it rained last night here. There's no way. It was all sunny out. Man, there's flowers coming up. These are Easter flowers. I'll have to dig these up. They'll run over them. I'll dig these up for my mom today. That's great. You want to look in these dumps for that. I get flowers. I don't ever have to buy stuff like this from a yard. Every year I find it. People dig up stuff from their house. Dirt come up here. They're doing excavating. This stuff's always coming up. Look, one, two, there's several. Heck yeah. Where I've been digging, I think I better go over here to get down in here. It's a little less steep. This is the edge of the hill where people threw trash over. Like, well, they did here even up into the 70s and 80s illegally, but those days are about over. Not many. I'll see a, a big screen TV or something up here every now and then, you know, stuff like that. But other than that, not much dumping anymore. But see, had a cave in. There's a Magic Valley soda. I'll get some of this pulled out. I had a big cave in. You can see I got some digging to do to get down in here. I reached the point of sweating through my clothes. Every trip from just the brutality of the digging to find enough for a video, try to every day. You got to stay at a pace. You got to stay at a good pace. Well, look at that. That's weird, isn't it? It's the first melted bottle I've seen. There's not much fire on this, and the marbles, that's good for the marbles. They won't be fire damaged, but that's odd. Now, it's taken me a long time to even get this much out. There's a, a pot. I don't see anything in it. That would have been a fluke if there would have been anyway with an open top on it like that. But that looks pretty decent back in there behind it, damn it. Nice, nice kind of dry layer I'm starting to get to now. So hopefully I can see the marbles right when they pop out and I'm not missing them. See, I'm hitting all kinds of big stuff in the ground. Look at that. But it's a loose layer. You see how easy that come out of there? Folks, I got my first marble already. See the rust layer there? That looks like some kind of jar there, but you saw the bottles. I might find one bottle worth taking a day here, one or two. The marbles is what I'm after, and there's one right there It fell right out of this, and I saw it immediately. What is this? That looks like a vitriol conquer. I think it is. And, you know, there was only so many marble manufacturers. I just got off in another dump in another town and it had stuff like this all over it. I was finding these, this this one's a little different. You see, it's it's different than ones at the last dump, see? Different run of marbles, different, slightly different time period. Now you can see that's a vitro agate conquer. This one doesn't really have the filaments. It kind of, see, you can see into it, but it's more opaque, but still clear base under that. That white's just over that at the top. That's a clear marble on the inside, but that's nice. Made in West Virginia. I'd say this is from the 1950s. Look here, here's another marble. I raked it right out of, you can see, see the rust layer. You can see the orange. That's what I always go for is that. What is this? Oh, this is a hybrid cat eye. Look at it. Very unique orange and white. What the heck? Oh, it's nice too. Look at it. It looks like an egg yolk. Egg and yolk. Wow. Probably an old vitro cat eye. I just found the call. Oh, these are stunners. Well, just looks like an egg and yolk. Look at that. That's a beauty, huh? It's going right in the frame. Um, it's still too wet up there, but I found that conqueror first, and you know, this is probably a vitro hybrid cat eye, I would guess. Well, if you start doing this, man, I thought I had a nice uranium glass marble there. Look, a bead. You'll get fooled all the time. 
that made my heart stop and then i was like no stinking beads you're gonna you're gonna know that phrase if you're a marble digger on town dumps that stinking bead well you see this is the kind of preserved layer you can get into on the side of a steep hill because this is getting a little damp but it dries out quick you know it rained last night i'm up enough in this bank to where it just drains and it's all dry look at this that's a iron city beer that's pool tab from you know the 1960s at the newest and look look at the condition of it out on the regular surface of the ground that thing would have been powder 10 years after it was thrown away every dump every dump this is a situation busted up concrete people dump oh it's a good workout day that's for sure well this is a good sign you know what that is didn't you and look at the curve to the bowl that's a big salt glaze crock that's one that's like that big around wonder what the heck that was you can tell by the curve of that that was a big jar probably made in pennsylvania maybe i'll find more pieces you yeah, see that bottle right there in the wall i think that's a coke let's see if it is i think it is this is all one dug if it is because i take all these sistersville west virginia it looks real nice yeah and you can look at them right in the dump look right there see how there's no dinging to it that's where it'd have the case wearing up here on the letters and it don't so that's a pristine bottle from like sistersville a coca-cola from 1950 it'd be d patent here but take that give it to doug i just got home and i cleaned this bottle up you can see why i take these look at how beautiful that bottle is it's just my goodness the color they're not not producing them anymore that's a beauty i'll give it to doug so that'll be at doug's store next time i go well i don't know i picked this up i think i better film it I can't tell. See, I fl saw this flash and I thought the blue, the blue looks like a vetro blue marble. I just saw a little bit of it. So, and when I come up here, I rake back through this stuff. I was looking for it, thought I saw a marble and it was this. I wipe it and it says the small, maybe smallest, false. So, let's see what this is. I thought it was a ring box when I picked it up at first. Then I thought it was dental floss or something like that but what is this it's been melted unfortunately but it feels heavy so let me yeah i guess it's gonna come open what the heck what the heck these are false teeth and they're little The smallest false teeth. That's what this, what the heck? This, I found a dice in here a couple days ago from a Las Vegas casino. What is this? There's probably another one which is missing, which sucks. But maybe, I don't know. Maybe there was just a top. I don't see how two of them could have fit in there. They're, I don't think they could have. There's no way it would have shut. So maybe that is complete. Well, the smallest falsies, and I found a picture of one online in a red box, and they are complete. There was no bottom. And this is just an amazing find. It's made out of the same plastic as real false teeth, just like them. Um, I'm going to put this in my trinket case, and it just 100% completes the one I'm working on. I look at these trinket frames, I'll show you as a, a painting. And I just know like a painting when it's done. And it's 100% done now with this. I'll show you. Well, there's a set that sold on eBay right there. Smallest falsies in the world. Right there. That's the stuff I find. Huh? These, these are awesome. Well, you see, I got this good and opened up now. I raked a bunch of this back. I got it piled up here. It's still way too wet. Even back in there, say, can't have that. And I'm still finding marble. So that means I'm missing as many as I'm finding when it's like this. So I'm gonna have to leave all of this here and not pitch it. Look here. 
There's another one right here. It just looks like a blue cat eye, but I already got several marbles I'm proud of. This is just an average one, I'd say. Yeah, it's a common blue cat eye. Like a quarter on this one at best. But it's perfect condition, and I'll take it. All right, I'm going to go home and eat lunch. I'll probably come back up and continue on this. I'm already wringing wet with sweat. I've been here about an hour and a half, I'd guess. I'm right around there. Did good again. All right, here's the marbles from the last, I don't know, five, six, seven trips. I've been finding a bunch of these up in here. The cat eyes on that dump I'm on. I just found this big, like, blue swirl here and lots of stuff in here. But this is what you can have. Look at this. October and November, I filled that whole frame. Then September and October, that whole frame. And then this is the last frame I put together. Up to January 2024. Masters in there. There's lots of Phantom Conquerors in here and just beautiful stuff. This is what you can have going on them dumps. And I got enough for another small frame now. I'll go get some probably for two. It's almost dried out enough now to where I can go back to that place and go for a whole handful. I just don't want to mess them, so I'm finding a few and leaving till it dries out. It's 70 today, and it's not raining, so I ought to be in business here in a few days. What's going on? All right, folks, I'm up. It's like 6.30. I just got a hot bath. Had the heater on in here. And my buddy always comes in the bathroom with me. Look here. And lays in his, in my house coat. But that's his house in here. Look here, folks. Squirrel man's got a, got a second little house here. And he gets back in his squirrel cave. And hangs out in here with me. I'm gonna go make some coffee. And let him run all around and get woke up. And then I'm heading up to the dump. And this is my pet squirrel. The squirrel master. He's in lots of videos. He's my buddy. He's my bud. See you in the dump, folks. He's my buddy. Huh? You getting woke up? <laughs>